Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new frame and it's called the Mocha Simplex frame. Now this is from a company called Mocha and this is a split level frame with a 215 millimeter wheelbase which is a five inch quadcopter. This comes in two versions, um, the carbon foam and the T700. We have the carbon foam which is basically a mixture of carbon and carbon foam, I guess foam. So it's pretty sweet here. It's one millimeter 3K carbon, one millimeter 3K carbon, and two millimeters of the foam in the middle. So this gives it a total of four millimeters. And they're both symmetrical, the upper plate and the bottom plate. And as you can see here, it's a split level frame, which is just basically the back arms are up top and the bottom arms are on the bottom here. The front arms are on the bottom. Now this does, in theory, improve efficiency and as well as allow clean air to go through the back motors, thus not making any kinds of, basically, noise, uh, air noise between the motors. So um, this should overall improve performance and efficiency. Um, the carving just looks absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, it just looks beautiful. And uh, here's the hardware. So you get two side plates, which are two millimeters, and two two upper uh, two plates, which is the upper plate and the bottom plate. They're both symmetrical, so that's pretty cool. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight standoffs and the screws for on the hardware. And you get this VTX mount. This is pretty sweet, actually. Uh, what you do is you would remove this, and then you would slide them on your standoffs, and it holds actually pretty well. So if you have no way to mount your VTX, you could use this guy right here. We might use them. We might not use them. Now you might ask me, why do I have all these out and not installed? Well, because actually when I got it, it felt very light. So I just had to, uh, just I just set it up just like this to see how much I can get it to weigh. And it's, it's basically 72.3 grams or something like that. I had another scale the other day I was using it. So I was just very excited. So when I build this guy, I'm actually just gonna build him like this. I'm not gonna add the other uh, standoffs possibly. So in the front, as we can see, it's, it's pretty good, but this is just this just got me very excited. I'm very happy for this. It's a very light frame. It's lighter than the Translake Lightning Kevlar, so that's just pretty sweet. Uh, so like I mentioned, this comes in a carbon foam version and the T700, which is a full 3K carbon. Uh, that one's a bit more heavy. It's around 92 grams, as the website's stating. Um, so yeah, that we don't have that one. We have the carbon foam and I'm actually very excited for this carbon foam We're gonna test it out see how good it is because lately I've seen a lot of companies do this now So it could be good could be bad could be the new best thing now um, So 72 grams is pretty sweet. It's pretty light. It's almost considered in the hyper light of Frames, but not fully there yet, but it's right there. So I'm I believe I can get this built with under 250 grams dry weight with everything. So I'm planning on putting an Asgard Brother Hobby R4 motors and um, some VTX and a Foxier camera and we should be good. Some small receiver. So it's going to be pretty sweet and pretty light. And yeah, well, that's all I could really say right now about this frame. I just, I'm just, as soon as I finish this video right here, I'm actually going to go and just start building it. I'll also make the build video, see how uh, we're going to do this. So we're going to be routing the wires through here or here. Uh, but we need to keep space for the GoPro. So it's just going to be... It's going to be very interesting, I believe. It's going to be very fun. Hopefully we get an NASCAR to fit in here. Um, I believe it should just fit just fine. So... Yeah, well, that's going to conclude for this video, guys. Wait for the upcoming build and the Maiden. They will come out very soon. Um, I'm going to rush this one because I'm very excited for this one. And hopefully we can hit this build under 250 grams. So that's going to be pretty sweet and insane. And, yeah, guys. So if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.